G'day viewers, this is Annie and welcome to my channel. This is just a quick video on how to find free geological maps for gold fields in New South Wales. Alright, I just thought I'd do a video today on mining and exploration and geoscience website in New South Wales and in particular how to find a geological map that you can perhaps download to your system online or to order online. This uh, is located on the resources and geoscience.newsouthwales.gov.au website and I'll put a link to that in the about section of the video. Okay the next step is to hit miners and explorers and on the right hand side in the quick, quick links section you will see a subheading geological maps. So if you click on geological maps, up will come a pricey about what's available. The various scales of the maps, 1 to 250,000, 1 to 100,000. Some of the smaller maps, the 1 to 50,000 or 1 to 25,000 maps, are not always av available. But if you have a look on here, or click on one, the 1 to 25,000 geological maps, it will give you a number of geological maps that are available. Um, let's have a look at uh, Tipperbara, India. So you can view this map online, which uh, requires Google Maps and um, Google Earth software. So you can see that as I toggle over it with the cursor, it will change the aspect of it. It's $19.80 to buy online. There are historical editions, and you can there's a geo reference image, a non geo reference image vector, and another one. Some of these are zip or JPEGs and you can see the size of the files here. So, so for the purpose of this exercise, what we'll do, we'll have a look at the non-geo-referenced uh, image. Um, a geo-referenced image means that the internal coordinate system of the digital map or aerial photo can be related to a ground system of geographic coordinates. So it's tied down to a known Earth coordinate system. So users can determine where every point on the map or aerial photo is located on the Earth's surface. But we just want to have a look for now at a map sheet. So I will go for the smaller file, which is the non-geo-reference image. It's a J JPEG file. You click download, download, and the map will come up. You then have an option. You can save the page as. I'll save it as... Um, Tipperborough Inlet to my desktop. But you can click on the map and scroll around. And you can see the sidebar will take you up and down on the mapping system shows you the legend, the mineral occurrences, whether the st strike is, uh, dips and fractures, there's a toggle along the bottom or a bar along the bottom where that can take you up across to show you the scale um, and the legend for fault lines and the like. Uh, so if we go up here you can see all these fault lines and that there is uh, Nuggety Hill here 
Noggety Golly down here. And then, so for not having to pay a fee, you can actually download that and have a look around yourself. You have a look down here, it will also give you a list of the other sheets and that that are available around the area that you have selected. You'll notice on the map there is um, the colour scheme for the legend of uh, what minerals and uh, what type of um, uh, geological rocks are around the area. Um, it also talks about uh, the mineral occurrences and you'll note around here most of it is gold. Talks about two mile diggings, Tripperary Gully, Nuggety Gully. So it might be a useful map to have a look at before you head out to Tipperborough. These um, JPEG files can be downloaded to a thumb drive and you can take them down to Officeworks. And Officeworks will probably print them out for you for a lot cheaper than ordering online. Similarly, if you go to the 1 to 250,000 scale, you'll see another list of other maps that are available. So just make your way through all the available maps on the various scales and hopefully you'll find the map that you're looking for. Well viewers, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's helpful to you. If you did, give me the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to my channel.